Am I gonna cry in this video? Maybe. I cry in a lot of videos, to be honest. It would make sense to cry in this video. Yeah. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel, and if you are new here, this video probably won't make a ton of sense to you, but I'm glad you're here. So I decided it would be fun to just kind of take a minute to celebrate all that was accomplished in 2021. And it's not just about me, it's about you too. I think that we can all just slow it down from time to time and remind ourselves that we should look back up on the things we have created and feel really proud. Because you know what? There are a lot of people out there who will never pick up a pencil and sketch something, or they'll never paint a mini, or they'll never sculpt something out of clay. So if you did any of those things or something else creative this year, you should feel pretty proud. All right, high five from me to you. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to heed my own advice and celebrate the really, really cool things that I was able to push myself to create this year, share on YouTube. And I also just want to say thank you to y'all. Uh, without y'all, I don't think I would have had the same drive to create and get weird like I would. Oh, don't work. Um, so thank you. Thank you. All of this is possible because of y'all. All right, let's kick off memory lane with one of my favorite things. Yeah. And it all started with a terrifying bird monster. Drum roll, please. We're talking about Monster Bash. Probably one of my favorite things I have ever done, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Um, so Monster Bash has happened three times at this point. If you don't know what that is, I don't have time to catch you up. So go watch a Monster Bash video, one of mine or one of the other people who have been involved. But I am so proud of the work I've done with that collaboration. This little fella and the little bird are probably just some of the things I am the most proud of. And of course, there is a missing Monster Bash. Rest in peace, pour one out for uh, the merman who Raquel brutally set on fire. But you know what? A lot of people have asked me about that and if you if you love something, you'll set it free. Yeah, that's where I stand on that. <laughs> I do miss that merman. Sometimes I wish I had taken more pictures of him. Yeah, I am so proud of the work that Monster Bash has created. Not just like my own artwork that I've made, but seeing all of the artwork that all of you have made inspired by Monster Bash has just been absolutely incredible. And thank you for being a part of that community, this community. Thank you for motivating me to keep creating by being a part of it. Y'all rock. All right, onto something smaller, tinier, mini you might say. Miniatures, it's a hobby that I've kind of fallen into. My first video on this channel was a mini painting video, which wasn't something I was into at the time, it was just something I wanted to try. And I have fallen in love and I have so much more respect for the hobby. And I really understand, I mean, not very well, but I understand all the technique and time and effort that can go into painting these. And I'm so thankful to have crossed paths with the amazing Lila because she's taught me so much. And I really, really loved following along to some of her videos and, and getting much better at this. So I'm just so in love with this new hobby and really thankful that I've been kind of accidentally introduced to it. Thank you, YouTube and the universe. Yeah, I really love kit bashing though. If I had to pick some sort of favorite category for minis, it's kit bashing them, it's changing them, it's altering them to be cyber wolves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just look at that incredible improvement. I challenge you to pick up the first mini you painted last year in your most recent mini and compare them. See how you did. <gasps> okay, on to the mushy stuff, the squishy stuff, the feel good, warm your heart, bring a little tear to your eye stuff. A uh, couple things I just wanted to celebrate, appreciate, breathe in, and again, I inspire you to, to, to figure out what that thing is for you. Celebrate yourself, celebrate your friends, celebrate your accomplishments. Do not forget that you are cool, okay? <laughs> um, all right, the first thing I really wanted to say thank you about and just like 
I'm astounded by this. So this is Pop the Alien. Y'all might recognize this little alien from a lot of Rack Wrecked art merchandise and my logo on YouTube. But Pop the Alien has like a deeper meaning than just greetings earthlings. I'm an alien. Uh, my grandfather was named Pop Pop and so I named the alien Pop. And my grandfather did not get much of a chance to see the world. And I thought this would be a really cool way for him to see uh, the world, even though he's not with us anymore. So Pop the Alien is on my mug. And this mug was my top selling piece of merch this past year. And it's gone all over the world. So thank you for that. Um, Pop, I'm sure would say thank you too. Oh no, it's happening, the crying is happening. <sighs> I warned you all, I'm probably gonna cry in this video. So let's keep rolling. Let's move on to something else that may, might make me cry. I just wanted to say a big thank you to all the YouTube creators who have connected with me this year. I can't believe it. The internet is a weird place because it could be incredibly cruel. Um, if any of you have ever been on Reddit, you know what I'm talking about. But it can also be this amazing place where we all build connections and build each other up and you find people who are like you, even if there's no one like you where you live. So I am so thankful to have connected with these great inspiring artists. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined I would have friends like this. And Recently, my good friend Miss Cass made a piece of art dedicated to me, and that's incredible. Thank you, Trent. Thank you for doing that. It really means a lot to me, and I hope to continue making art with you and all my other YouTube friends this year. Yeah. I have spent so much time in this dang crafting room this past year. <laughs> Lastly, and maybe most importantly, I want to take a minute to just appreciate and thank my patrons. And I know I thank them in every video, but Patreon is just this amazing way for you all who are my biggest supporters, like Django, actually you're not a patron, are you? <laughs> to pledge a little bit of your very hard earned money to me every month. And it does not go unappreciated. Seriously, oh Django, you got it. Oh my gosh, you're ruining this whole take. I, I really owe a lot to you all and I will never forget that. Uh, and as a way to say thank you back, I asked the patrons what some of their favorite types of nonprofits were. And um, for the month of January, I'm taking all my proceeds from Patreon and I'm donating them to four different charities that kind of resonated with what most of the patrons seem to care about. So check out all the nonprofits. I will link to them below in the description. And if you feel like it, maybe um, donate a little bit as well. Thank you so much. And I think this year is gonna be bigger and better. My next video is actually gonna be a really great collab with some really cool guys that I think most of them I haven't worked with yet. So it should be a big surprise. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video or my next live stream or on Instagram, somewhere. Anyway, happy new year and here's to a bigger and better 2022. Yeah, hey, and don't forget, leave me a comment about the thing that you are most proud of making this past year. All right, bye. I think my autofocus keeps thinking that that plant is a person. I'm about to have to get it out of here. No, it's not a person. I'm the only person. Focus only on me. Do not focus on the plant. Only on Raquel. The challenging thing about filming at this angle is just making sure I'm not just filming down my shirt. Not that kind of channel. Yeah. Uh-oh. I hear a dog approaching. He's probably going to cause some trouble. Are you here to cause some trouble? You got a real I'm going to jump up and ruin everything kind of attitude, do you? <laughs> yeah, you do. I wasn't recording any sound, but then I noticed and I fixed it because that always really sucks when you don't notice it. Notice it when you don't notice that you don't have your microphone plugged in. You are really sad. Very sad.